What's up guys, this is Dr. Mas Qureshi with another topic and this is very high for FCPS, uh, USMLE and MRCPA, M MCPS and other examinations. So basically, uh, brown sea good syndrome ko hum hemi section of the cord bhi kehte hain and uh, voice li kehte hain because spinal cord, this is your spinal cord and this is gracilis cuneatus which is part of dorsal column medial meniscus. Uh, dorsal column medial meniscus and uh, we have uh, on lateral side on lateral aspect we have uh, lateral corticospinal tract which is responsible for motor functions and then we have on the anterior side the motor uh, as well like retro uh, reticular bulbar, uh, bulbar and uh, for pain and temperature, we have lateral and anterior, uh, lateral spinothalamic tract. So I'll divide this into three. At the level of the lesion, uh, below the level of the lesion, and uh, on the basis of uh, unilateral, meaning ke bhai ek hi side pe, yani ke epsilateral and contralateral, kya kya cheeze hongi, kon kon si structures isme involve hongi. So at the level of the lesion, everything stops. So uh, like... Uh, all the sensation all the sensations are all sensations are lost are lost and second we have ipsilateral so i'll divide ipsilateral into three so ipsilateral lesion first would be of course upper motor neuron lesion because of the uh, lateral cortico spinal tract and that would show uh jaise ke arm upper, upper motor neuron lesion mein hota hai ke we have uh, spastic para uh, paralysis and all the upper motor neuron lesions because of the corticospinal tract uh, lesion then we have lower motor neuron lesion which will be epsilateral like meaning the same side okay so i'll draw this with another pen that would be lower motor neuron lesion and would be because of uh, uh, and would show as flaccid paralysis on the same side so you have upper and lower both on the same side then we have loss of sensations loss of uh, proprioception basically we have lost the dorsal column medial meniscus gracilis and cuneatus so what does dorsal column medial meniscus do it controls the proprioception the vibration light touch and uh, of course two point discrimination two point discrimination okay so we have three things which are ipsilateral and this is because of the dorsal column medial meniscus and uh, we have one contralateral which is very uh, unique part of the brown secret syndrome and this is because uh, spinothalamic tract controls the spinothalamic is involved in whether it is anterior or whether it is lateral it's both both are involved in pain plus temperature okay so what you would have there would be loss of these two things on the contralateral side on the contralateral side and this would be below the lesion just like the ipsilateral which would be below the lesion only one is at the level of so or at the level of the lesion all sensations are lost okay so let me repeat it this is known as the hemi section of the cord and you have loss of proprioception on the ipsilateral vibration you have light touch uh, lost here two point discrimination is lost and then you have lower motor neuron lesion here also uh, flaccid paralysis tone would be decreased power would be decreased and um, there were reflexes would be uh, lost so 
I'm sorry, reflexes would be um, decreased as well. In upper, uh, and then we have upper motor neuron lesion on the same side as well. And uh, because of the uh, lateral corticospinal tract, which is basically the motor uh, part. And uh, that shows uh, that there is decrease in reflexes plus uh, decrease in tone as well. And then we have, last but not least, spinal thalamic tract. And causes uh, are, what are the causes? So gunshot wound or any trauma to the back uh, or any tumor so this is all you need to know about brown secret syndrome it is very high for fcps and it came a lot in your papers thank you guys for watching do check out my other videos as well and if you haven't subscribed already do click the red icon that says subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos get it got it go